Geneva has no has no meaning per se. It, it is a company. When I started my boxing company, I needed a name, and basically, I took two letters from my wife's name, Jacqueline, two letters from my daughter's name, Viva and Miko, and therefore, Geneva came into existence. And my father, he pretty much being raised by my father was strict. He was just strict, a strict parent. Like he didn't take no mess if we had to, he was, he was like a perfectionist with us. And stop is a, you know, funny, you know, but you gotta take him serious though, he's a serious person, but you know, he could be a real friend, you know, if you have any problems on the side that you wanna, you know, talk to him about, you know, he'll keep it real with you, pull you to the side and you know, you'll talk to him, you know, it's, you could with staff, you could just let go, you know, just be yourself and you know, he'll accept you for who you are. Whenever I would have an interaction with him, I always got a good vibe from him. You know, I didn't know anything about what he was teaching, but I knew he was good people. My first experience with Stafford was cool, man. He was a cool dude, you know. And um, actually, funny story, when I first met him, I had already set up a, a fight. Two weeks before that, I set up a fight, you know, and I told the person I needed a trainer. He put me on to Mustafa. Mustafa trained me for about a week for the, prior to the fight. And um, I went in there, got tired, you know, and I found out what uh, boxing was really hitting for, you know. But um, that, that was my first experience with Mustafa, and I've been with him ever since. I started watching films of all the great fighters. Started watching Ali, Roberto Duran. Um, these guys were, were fighting, they were active at that time. But I started studying Joe Lewis, Sugar Ray Robinson, Carmine Basilio, Jake LaMotta, Charlie Burley. And I started studying all these great fighters and they, they were my teachers, they were my professors. The bigger people in my community, they would constantly try me as a way of, of gaining stripes in the, in the neighborhood, you know. So at that point there, instead of fighting, I, I wanted to know a science. I, I wanted to learn the sport of fighting, how to fight, understand how to fight, because anybody can fight. But understanding how to fight is something totally different. He's, you know, a lot of people, they say they're trainers or they're a coach, but he's an actual teacher. You know, he wants you to understand what you're doing before you go and do it 100 miles an hour on the heavy bet. You gotta understand what you're doing. Mostly working with him, definitely he make you understand what you're working on. And definitely, you work on this, you work on that, whatever, like if you work on your footwork, you start up on your footwork working up, and he show you how to things how to work on your footwork. So after like jabs and stuff, he show you how to work on your jabs and stuff. Other teachers, whatever he's teaching, a lot of teachers don't, I've seen that already, a lot of teachers don't teach the same way like how he do. And he very, you know what I mean? And this game come with a lot of discipline, so. Definitely, I come with a lot of discipline towards the man. And he's a very good mentor. My first fight, I was about five years old. An uh, older friend of mine came to the house, asked my mother's permission for me to go outside and play with him. When I went outside with him, he took me to his apartment. And there were a lot of people in his apartment, a lot of grown people in his apartment. And basically, they put me to fight for money against another five-year-old child, you know, another, another kid my age, you know. So that was my first fight that I remember. I won that fight, by the way, but um, that was the first fight I remember. Yeah, on one time, he was at his other gym called Church Street Gym in Manhattan. And we was, I was outside the store, it was me and, and another um, partner of mine in the gym, too. We was out there, after we just see a crowd of people running out the store, and I know who it was already. <laughs> I don't know who it was. This some um, dude in there. I think he played him off of his change, so he kind of got tight about it. And when I went in there, he was about to knock the dude out. And I came in the middle of it. I'm like, please, 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 let's break it up. Let's break it up. And the dude pulled out a pipe. He was about to. And I'm like, yo, put the pipe away, bro. We don't need for that. So, yeah, it was serious. Time we 
we, we talk about anything, about any situation in life, about anything in general. And then that, that's when I mostly learn a lot from from Saf or like about everything. I respect my father and everybody, everybody respects my father. Um, the type of person that he is, you, you don't have no choice but to respect him. It's not, he, he don't disrespect you as long as you don't disrespect him. In, in this camp, we definitely preach doing the right thing, you know. I know we're not angels. But you have to do the right thing. We do not uh, we do not tolerate people picking up other people's things and taking it home with them. You know, people leave their, their equipment here all the time. When it's in our hands, it's safe. Unfortunately, it's not that way when we leave equipment. But we still have to do the right thing regardless. I consider Star as a father figure a mentor, a brother, an uncle, you know, all of the above, man. He's just a cool individual, you know, that you can just open up to and let, you know, speak to. Very strong-minded. Just a funny uncle, more like a funny uncle. He is aggressive, <laughs> that's just, that describes him. He's just aggressive. For real, funny, a good friend and he's hard. He's a very passionate person, I can put that as. I learned a lot as when it comes down to guys, when it comes down to school, work, about me all, all around. I learned a lot from my father. I think in life you should always do the right thing. And I bring that definitely into my camp. I expect that out of all of my fighters.